71 or 72, and I can I can pretty nail down that because I've, I bought a Volkswagen Bug while I was working at this place called Century Graphics. And Century Graphics was a, a, a job I had. I was on the night shift while I was putting myself through college. I had to run blueprints, and there was this huge belching, ammonia belching machine that we would put uh, paper in, and then it would come out the other side, and we would cut this paper up. And um, we used to get stuff from um, Lockheed and Litton and um, Hughes and RCA and whoever was doing electronics and, you know, military stuff at the time. So a lot of what we did um, were, were circuit designs. Uh, we also did maps and things like that. I had a fairly low clearance there. I should also explain that sometimes they would have me working on things I shouldn't be working on. Uh, like one time I was working on this huge um, uh, lithograph negative of the Pacific Ocean that had all of the uh, freeways, routes, I don't know what you'd call it, for all of our subs and all the Russian subs through the Pacific Ocean. And we had to take this huge lithograph and take black ink and spot out all the pinholes that were in the negative from the process. So it would just be totally black and white. And then they would take that and make a, a, a positive copy of it. So there were times where there weren't enough people, we would have to work on things that were secret, even though you didn't have the clearance. And this blueprint I'm going to tell you about was one of those. I was at the end of the machine where it would come out, and I would fold it, and then have to cut it and stack it and so on. So I'm pushing this thing through, and it's a huge electronic diagram. And in the middle of this diagram was this large rectangle, and in the center of the rectangle it said, anti-gravity chamber on it. And it was by Hughes Summa, I think it was Summa Corporation, because it had the little bug or the logo at the bottom of the corner. And I took, after I got through folding that, I took it over to this old guy that was training me and teaching me and working with me, and he was the one pushing it through. And I go, I don't remember his name, but I said, look at, look at this anti-gravity chamber. And he goes, you're not supposed to be working on this, and you didn't see that, and put it back and don't say anything about it before we get in trouble. And so I did, and I didn't say anything about it. Did they handle top secret then? Well, that, that uh, Pacific map of the submarine routes was, not, was top secret. And, you know, that's all I knew that went through there that I definitely know was top secret was that. Because this was in 72, and the Cold War was still pretty, pretty bad, and Vietnam was still going, and all that stuff. I know that it was secret because I remembered him kind of chastising me for bringing that up to him. Like, I wasn't supposed to bring that back and even mention that we were looking at something like that. And during that time period, uh, throughout my career, it was always rumored by the pilots that uh, that was a cover uh, for, in fact, a location of one uh, UFO craft. And the reason for that location was uh, folks that uh, could come out, land at Norton, play golf, uh, be part of a golf tournament and so forth, and during that process could go by the facility and actually see the UFO. 